All right, guys, how's it going? I'm YC, you watching Cheeky and Couches. And yes, I am a car vlogger based mainly in the UK, specifically speaking, Reading, and also Hong Kong, which is where I am now. And yes, behind me is the 2004 SLK 350 R171. Very special car because it belongs to a friend of mine from Cranks and Pistons. It's Dennis here. How's What's it up going, you guys? Mate? How's it going? Yep, I'm gonna race him today, but not on a car, but on one of the best metro systems in the world. Right, I know what I've just said right here is pretty controversial, especially for our Hong Kong viewers, but hear me out on this. All politics aside, it's a pretty damn good system. Each ride only costs you five Hong Kong dollars, that's 50p. And according to Nas Daily, the guy who does minute long videos on YouTube and Facebook, the stations are so clean that you can virtually sleep on them. Also, 99.9% .9 of punctuality, because if they fail to do so, the company would have to pay out hefty fines. Take this, 2019, two trains collided at the two busiest stations in Hong Kong. They were out of service for two days straight, that's 48 hours. The company had to pay out 25 million Hong Kong dollars, that's 2.5 million pounds in penalty. Mate, that's two posh apartments in central London, that's how much it costed. But still, delays do happen in many occasions because of that shitty signal system which they have to repair. How are you feeling about that then? Uh, now a bit nervous after doing a little bit of the homework. But hopefully, made the best man win. Sure, and also just so you know, his channel is pretty sick and it's got, this is his favorite car, despite the fact that it's got wheels, straight off Hot Wheels. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's quite a, it's quite a situation. But hey, if you look down here, it's got the Acro uh, It's got the Acro Feature quad exhaust. So yeah, it's amazing. You know, it sounds great. And also, it looks sick. It's modified. Have a listen, mate. Go on, guys. <laughs> By the way, full AMG treatment on the outside. So the wheels are from the AMG. The front and rear bumper are also from AMG, made specifically for this car. It's not any kind of cut price shit. This is genuine. And yes, I will make sure that I'm gonna win with uh, of my prize all intact but yeah so basically the finish line would be just outside city gate station so there's this little water fountain thing but i think it's shut because of COVID 19 so yeah but it's still really iconic and easy to find place you're gonna yeah. park your car somewhere I'm and run, run there yeah exactly because that's what i'm gonna do do you know what i've just realized pretty unnerving is that apparently according to my phone okay it will take you around 50 minutes to get there. All right. For me, it will be an hour and 41 minutes. 41? I know, it's fucking crazy. German piece of engineering, 272 brake horsepower versus me and the Hong Kong MTR system. We shall see about that. And let's cut the chase. Okay, so the time now is seven past two and I got a, I've got a train to catch in like four minutes. So I will see you in a bit. We're starting yeah. right now. now. Okay, it's not winning. The thing is, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because he'll be in a car and I'm running already. So yeah, big time. Dude, there's a key for a reason. Come on. All right, guys, YC's in. Let's go. Yeah. Now that's the spirit. They have train connections to anywhere in the main parts of the city and the regularities are amazing. Well, it's been reduced a little bit because of COVID, but otherwise it's pretty regular. It's You'll get a train probably in two minutes every time you're at a station. Except for this instance, it's six minutes. And this being a suburb area during off-peak hours, the roads are clear. So good on you, mate, good on you. I just have to wait. Hopefully I don't get stuck somewhere in the middle part of the city. If you get stuck there, you're done for it. It's going to take you another hour or so to clear out because there are no side roads that you can take. So you will have to maintain on the main road and if you're on a highway, it is bad luck. It's the thing, 
I just got off that train, right? I'm standing on the same platform and waiting for the same train to turn up because for some strange reason, I started off at a suburb, suburban area, and I have to get another connecting train in order to get to the point where I go across the water, across Victoria Harbour. So I don't know when is it gonna turn up to be fair. So oh. fair enough, I'll go to North Point or Buckock. Have a listen. The train to North Point is arriving. Please let passengers exit first. That's coming, so two minutes, I think. Hey right, guys, you ready for some manual pulls? Bro, the first rule of tunnel pulling is to point your microphone towards your exhaust, not away from it. But I'm gonna give you that. It actually sounds amazing. Okay, so I'm back to my normal Hong Kong walking pace. And yes, you're now joining me on the second part of the journey. And yes, we are going across. It's quite a walk to be fair. Around 300 meters. And this is my first change. Well, second, second stop. And yes, we are going towards the uh, Hong Kong line, the red, I mean the blue line, and then we're gonna go up to the amber line, but that, basically I have to have my last change at, um, at Central, and I have to walk for like a kilometer or two to Hong Kong station. So that's on the, uh, so right here, that's where we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stations later, I'm gonna walk there. And yes, everyone's looking at me as if, why am I doing this vlog? But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, hell no! Alright, that's a bit of a surprise. Three different clouds of rain. It's a small city, but it just rains like crazy. It's totally unpredictable in Hong Kong. It's always better to carry an umbrella. It's very much similar to London in that way. You never know when it's gonna rain. We got our final stretch, and I think we need to call YC and check on him, find out where he is. Let's see. Hi, Dennis, how's it going? Hey, bro, we're very reached. I'm a Tin Hao, I think. Tin Hao? Tin Hao. Tin Hao, where are you? So I'm across the water now. Oh yeah, uh, I am just uh, probably reaching Chingyi in a bit now. We approach Chingyi? Yeah, I, I, I got stuck in rain a little bit on the way. There was uh, a bit too much rain. And yet you're ahead of me by like... <laughs> on a... Yeah! <laughs> Four more stations to go to Chencho and I'm going to walk for a kilometre okay. to get on the uh, Tong Chong line for another, for another train. So, okay, when you got there, when you got the Ching Yi, um, start the timer, okay, and then see how much later would I be, like, you know, if, you, if I were to take the train rather than driving, all right? All right, see you in a bit, bye. Okay, remember what they have in Scotland? The Royal Mile, yeah? This is the equivalent of it. Look at it, mate. All right, it's long. Dinish has got a bit of an upper hand because A, he's got a Mercedes and the road is safe for him and I just got off the phone from him. He's seen as in Cheng Yi, so it's well past the, mid, the midway point. That's it, that's the word I was looking for. A week ago, I was happily jumping around and this happened. So yeah, I'm not, you know, in my best physical, Condition. The bridge on your left there, the one that goes to Zuhai and Macau, is the overwater bridge that goes all the way to China from Hong Kong. Amazing infrastructure, it's just beautiful. Alright, guys, looks like we have arrived in Tung Chung, and I think it took us around 50 minutes, 48 to 50 minutes, I guess. 
to reach her and YC is still on the way so he's a little bit in trouble there yeah and we're at Tung Chung station hell yeah so we made it first I'm waiting for YC's message I just came and parked but check out what I saw once I reached here this is a beautiful GD3 RS old school classic if you like this video so far please give me a thumbs up share this video and also check out my other content please please smash that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers bring out more awesome videos just for you guys so for 327 as of today subscribers out there thank you very much for the support and please make this happen we could do this i'm not even trying to run it because i know i've clearly so hard to say that word but i've lost so yeah it's a matter of like how far behind was the train where's the water fountain that way how's it going right you made it i made it what's up i mean to be fair right it wasn't it, it wasn't bad and i went 42 minutes i was like 40. Right. And for, it's a 40? Yeah. Something like that, but still, that's an hour behind you. Yeah. And yet, I'm here, like, you know, just 25 minutes behind, I think. That's about it, because I got stuck in traffic on the way. I have to change train when I stop by at Tilking Lane, because basically okay. it's the same train, but they're like, for some the strange reason. Go yeah, it doesn't go all the way there. Yeah. You have to wait for another one, but it has to be on the same platform. So I was like, I just stood there for like, 10 minutes straight just to wait for it. So. Rightio, so we're now in Tong Chong. Behind me is the same Mercedes that we set up with. So yeah, unfortunately we lost it. And also that key there, what's that? What's that doing there, mate? Like that bonnet's popping up. It's not an E30 BMW. Why is it popping out like that? It must have been crashed, I don't know. But anyways, you have been cheekily couched. The train is not exactly faster than internal combustion engines, but as a car guy, I'm proud of this, despite the fact yeah. that I've, you know, I've clearly lost, but yeah, still. It was fun. We learned something today. What is it? That roadways are faster than trainways. There you go then. So next time, you probably will see me on a bicycle racing someone on a car. I don't know. Or on a train. Or on a train. I will oh, smoke racing you. a train, oh, racing yeah. a train, yeah. Imagine, imagine taking two trains and we're racing head to head. <laughs> we might as well but yeah thank you very much for staying to the to the end of this video we really appreciate it check out danish's uh channel called cranks and Pist pistons no cranks and pistons that's cranks it and pistons yeah so yeah check him out i'll put this link down below in the description and yes thank you very much see you on the next one cheers